Welcome back to another Java tutorial. And today we're going to be asking the user to enter a year and we're going to check if it's a leap year or not. So a leap year is divisible by 4 and if it's like a century year like 1700, 1800 has to be divisible by 400 evenly. So 1712 isn't a century year and it is divisible by 4 so it's a leap year. 1913 is not evenly divisible by 4 so it's not a leap year. So let's start coding it up. So we're going to need a scanner, a scanner object. So we can do scanner scnr equals new scanner dot in. We need to get an error here because we got to import java.util scanner. And when we have it imported there it goes away. So we're going to be having a variable type integer we could call it year. And then we're going to set that equal to our scanner object so we can get user input. So we're asking the user for the next integer. So we're asking the user to enter a number of type integer and we're going to store it inside of year. And then we can use an if statement to check if it's a leap year or not. So we're going to check if it's divisible by 4 and if it's not a center year first. So we could say if year, and we could uh, use the modulus operator, divisible by 4 equals equal to 0. So what modulus does, it only focuses on the remainder. And if there's no remainder, that means it's equally divisible by, by actually 4. And if that's the case, then it's it's going to be partial leap year. Now we have to check if it's a center year. So we could say and, we need another set of uh, curly bracket right here. And, and now we have to say if year modulus 100 not equal to zero, because if it's equal to zero, that means it's a century year. We don't want it to be a century year. So if it's modulus four, that means it divides by four equally, and it's not a century year, and not equal, that means it's not a century year. If that's the case, then it's a leap year. But if it is a century year, we can use an OR operator to check another case. I'm going to curly bracket there. And if that's the case, we could say if year modulus 400 equal equals 0, that means it divides evenly and there's no remainder. So if all of this is the case, if it's divisible by 4 and it's not a century year, or if it is a century year and it's divisible by 400 and it still has no remainder, that means it is a, it is a leap year. So we could print out. We'll do, we'll print year, and then we'll say, is a leap year. And if that's the case, it is a leap year, but there's only one other case it could be. It either it is or it's not. So we could say else, we could do sys out, sys.out.print, so we could just print it. We could do year, not a leap year. We'll say we'll make it say year is not a leap year is a leap year. And now if we run this code, let's do like the example 1712. 1712 is a leap year. Let's do 1913. 1913 is not a leap year. And let's do another one. Let's do let's do seven. Let's do 1600. 1600 is equally divisible by 400, so this should be a leap year, and it is a leap year. So it looks like our code's working. Let me put the code back on the screen. And if this helped you in any way or just enjoyed watching, leave a like and subscribe.